Hey everyone, this is uh, the pilot episode of a new podcast I will be starting. I am your host, Midnight Lunatic, coming at you live on this podcast. Uh, nice uh, Thursday evening here. And uh, to be honest guys, I uh, am really nervous about this. I have never done anything like this before. Um, This is all new to me, and hopefully uh, you guys will be along for the ride. Um, You guys might be wondering, who exactly are you, and, uh, you know, what's this podcast about? Well, uh, I am Midnight Lunatic, your host. I will also be having uh, people on my show as well, so you'll be seeing a lot more uh, other guests on on this podcast uh, channel. Um, but myself, I am currently living in Arizona. I am in love with video games and I, I just want to share my, my stories and, and my adventure with you guys. The podcast is basically going to be not, not just necessarily about games, um, but I want to do like world news, what's, what's happening out in the real world, um, foods, uh, movies, music, things like that. Um, it, it's all just going to be one big jambalaya of, 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 of topics in this, in this, uh, podcast. You know, I want to, I want to get you guys involved. I want you guys to, uh, bring topics to me. You know, let, let's, let's have a conversation on here and, uh, let's, let's figure out what, what we want to talk about together and, and discuss and, and just have an open conversation with each other. So for this uh, podcast, uh, episode number one, um, I want to talk to you guys a little about about um, just about what's what's happening. You know, it's it's the year twenty twenty, and it it's it's a rocky rocky start. Um, we all know that the virus is uh, going around and uh, affecting a lot of people um, throughout their day to day lives and and other things. So. Uh, you know, while that's going on, I hope everything everything is going good for you guys and you guys are staying safe and uh, just do everything that you guys can to keep yourselves home and uh, try to prevent yourself from, from being around others that might be sick or might have it. Um, it it's been a rocky start, but the year's only just begun and it can it can get better. Um, you just got to keep keep pushing through this and uh, eventually it'll it'll pass through um toilet paper situation that's that's real crazy um for me i'm in arizona and that's that's the number one state that's most concerned about toilet paper for some odd reason uh during you know this pandemic everyone just is more concerned about wiping their butts than they are you know taking care of their own health and bodies which is the uh the weird part Um, you know, for me, I'm more focused on taking care of, of myself, not, not worried about, you know, cleaning up after I go to the bathroom. That's, that's just a, that's a weird one. Um, grocery stores, man, I tell you, I, I was trying to go grocery shopping the other day and, oh man, I, I could not find anything there. It was, it was so empty, you know, shelves were just empty i mean it was it was so bare in there it was ridiculous um you know and i don't i don't have time to be going to 20 different stores trying to find everything that i need so you know for me i have to I have to wait until stores get restocked because i just i don't have that time um it, it was it was crazy i mean I've, I've never seen stores this bad i've never seen shelves this empty before it's it's been a real experience um if if you guys have stores that are stocked up um, let me know where you guys are at. I mean, if you guys are close by, maybe I can stop at your guys' store and, uh, <laughs> get my groceries from there from now on. Cause man, my store is where I live. It's, it's been, uh, it's been ridiculous. Also want to, uh, say that, uh, you know, uh, with all this craziness going on, it's good to see that the uh, government is actually, uh, helping out people that actually are in effect, you know, with their jobs and everything, losing them or, you know, temporarily being, being, uh, put to home because they can't work because their business got shut down or something. Um, I just read up an article that, uh, 
says that they just uh, made an agreement to uh, start giving people checks. Um, I know, I don't know the exact details on it. Um, I didn't read the entire thing, but I know that some, you know, like single single people like individuals will get up to 1200 um someone with kids is 500 per kid uh married you can get like 2500 or 2600 somewhere in that range i mean it, it's good to see that but at the same time like that's that's not going to really help everyone in this time of need uh it, it is something but i don't think it is enough to help out with bills grocery food you know um it's nice to see that businesses are trying their best to uh you know make life a little bit easier for all of us but at the same time what what is going to be the the consequences of of this you know after all this is is passed and all this is over how's how's america how's how's the world going to be affected after this is over you know, our, our tax is going to be going up because, you know, businesses and and those those checks that they're sending out. Are we going to have to pay back those in taxes? I mean, you know, what's going to happen? What are the after effects of this? Um, I don't think that's something that no one's really have talked about or even thought about. Um, but let me know what you guys think. You know, what, what are your guys' thoughts on this whole thing? Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on the, the grocery stores and the toilet paper thing? Um, I, I mean, it's just... I think for me personally, you know, I know everyone has their own opinions, their own, you know, feelings about this. For me, I see this as an overreaction. Um, I, I don't know why people are panic buying. I don't know why people are wanting, you know, all these, these bunches of toilet paper. Like it just, it makes no sense. People are overreacting to this. I, I get it. It's a serious disease. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying it's not, um, you know, I do feel for the people that are, are infected by this um, and all the families out there. Um, but at the same time, I, I think the, the most scary thing out there for me is the way people are reacting, not so much the virus. Um, you know, like I said before, I, I hope everyone is staying safe. Hope everyone, you know, does their best to try to keep indoors. For everyone that uh, is infected, just keep fighting through it. You know, don't give up, never give up. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get together and uh, we'll get through this together. But yeah, I mean, it's it's been a rocky 2020 start, um, but the year's only beginning. It can, it can go better than this, and we, we sure hope it does. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure how long these podcasts are going to be. You know, it can go anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. It, it just all depends on the topics that we have for the for the day and and how much uh time we really have um you know if we're having fun this i can see this going an hour hour and a half maybe even two i mean it just it all depends on on the involvement of you guys and uh what you guys want to hear what you guys you know find interesting um another another topic i want to talk to you guys about this uh you know away from from all this negative in the world what do you guys what do you guys' thoughts on the Xbox and the PS5? You know, who what what side are you guys on? Uh for me personally, I am a PlayStation player. Um I've always been a PlayStation player, but I do have an Xbox um and a Nintendo Switch. So I, I play all consoles. Um but for me my primary is going to be PlayStation. Um, I have seen the specs on the PlayStation 5 compared to the Xbox, and it, it's it's kind of disappointing, but, I mean, it's still early. They can make some changes. They can, you know, do this and that. And it, it all just depends on what the company really wants to do. I'm hoping that they make, you know, those those final decisions to increase their speeds and, and power and try to match a little bit better with what the Xbox is doing. Um, but for me, it looks like I'm going to go more into the PS5 side because just, you know, because I'm a PlayStation player. I mean, I, I do have my, my thoughts on the Xbox. I love, you know, the features that it has, the Game Pass and everything, and PlayStation kind of lacks that. Um, but I, I still consider myself a PlayStation guy, and uh, I'm probably going to be 
heading into the PS5 days once they release. Um, but what are your guys' thoughts? What are you guys most excited for? You know, um, price range. What do you guys think the prices are going to be? Um, and and the big mystery. You know, it's not really a mystery, but like the final concept of the PS5. You know, are they gonna are they gonna stick with the same concept as what they were first looking at, or are they going to make some adjustments and some changes into the design? Um, I'm sure hoping that they make some changes. I mean, I I wasn't a big fan of how they made the PS5 look, um, but you know that's just my opinion. You know, we all have our different thoughts and everything. Um, but yeah, I'm 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 kind of excited. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that they uh, have good games to start off with. I really don't want to spend, you know, all these hundreds of dollars on these consoles not to have anything good to play on them. Uh, what a game I would really like to see come out with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox would be GTA 6. I think that would be killer. Uh, it's probably not going to happen, but I think they would sell a lot more if they came out with a big top selling game like that. Um, I, I also heard a rumor that on the Xbox, if you were to have Xbox One games onto a hard drive and put that hard drive and plug it into the Xbox X, that you can transfer all of your Xbox games over to the new Xbox. I don't know if that's true or not. That is what I've heard. Um... Let me know if you guys heard anything different, if that was a lie, if that was true, let me know. I'm really curious to see about that. I mean, it's kind of a cool feature. You know, I hope PlayStation kind of does the same. Because uh, I, I have a ton of, you know, PS4 games on my hard drive that I would really like to see transfer over. Um, hopefully that they have backwards compatibility also, because... I don't know. I've, I've been hearing different things. There's not really a big confirmation on these things, but I would really like to see that happen. Another thing that has uh, happened this year was the um, sporting events. All major sporting events getting canceled. You know, you got baseball, basketball. I mean, they, they all got canceled out. I mean, luckily for us, we got to see the Super Bowl before all this happened and kind of glad with the uh, outcomes of that Super Bowl, but Kind of, kind of disappointed to see uh, the baseball season come to an end, especially because it was still in spring training, and I was really wanting to experience my first spring training game. I never got the chance to go. Uh, right when I was going to, that's when all this started, and the next day, they said that they were going to stop all these sporting events and everything, so it kind of disappointed me. Um, I'm hoping that the uh, season starts up really, really soon. Um, I, I, I don't necessarily know how long it's going to be on, on lockdown for, but I'm hoping to see it back up in time, um, for, for the summertime. Cause man, without sports, it's, it's been a, a boring, boring time. Um, I also watch a lot of WWE and, uh, AEW, and that's also been affected by this. I mean, they're recording, you know, from, a uh, their performance center and other locations, and it's no audience. So it's a weird experience. I've, I've never really witnessed this kind of thing before, and it, it's weird to see an empty arena and the way they're doing it. Um, it it's it's going to take some adjusting, but um, I'm not fully comfortable with it yet. Um, and, and the whole WrestleMania thing, I mean, WrestleMania is just around the corner, and man, I... I would hate to see, I, I mean, I know it's already canceled. Um, they're planning on doing like a two night thing and an empty like arena type situation. And I, I, I see that being really weird. And I've also heard rumors that they are actually pre-taping these WrestleMania matches. And in these matches, they are, they are also doing it two ways. There is two finishings. There's there's the opponent winning, and then there's like the champion winning. So like you get both sides winning, and what I've heard is that on the day that they are going to air the WrestleMania show, they are going to put the uh, final touches on both editings, and whichever one that they find more suitable at the time, 
they're going to run that version of it. So you got two different versions of the match, but they're only going to air the one that they think is is going to make them the most, I guess, views or what the people want, what they don't. I don't, I don't know how, they, how they're doing it, but that's what I've heard. There's, there's two different versions to every match, and it's weird. Um, I know like this, this Brock Lesnar and Drew McIntyre match, um, this is, this is the one that I was hearing about. They're doing the two different versions where Drew McIntyre pins Brock Lesnar, and then they're doing the one where Brock Lesnar wins. So I don't, I don't know. Um, they're saying they're, they're doing, they are doing that, uh, to prevent any leaks or spoilers to the event. They don't want anyone from the outside knowing what the, the matches are while they're pre-taping these so that they're. They're uh, shooting both versions, so that way if there's anyone that's trying to leak the shows and these matches, they're not able to because there's two different versions. I don't know if that's smart. I don't know why they're just not going to do it live on the same day. It, it makes no sense. I don't know uh, what their plan is. Um, and honestly, this, this WrestleMania, is, it was looking like a good one up until all this started. Uh, but now I'm, I'm not sure what to think about it. It's, it's going to be weird. I know that it's going to be real weird. Um, you know, watching WrestleMania for two nights and, and no audience crowd, like it, it, it's just going to be weird. It's not going to have that, that same wow factor that it, it has every year. Um, and it, it's just like, imagine if the Super Bowl was in an empty arena, you know, like that, that would, that wouldn't work you know, what, what happens to the halftime show, like, that, that would just, it would be weird, um, you know, because WrestleMania is like the Super Bowl of, of wrestling, it, it's just, I don't know, what are you guys' thoughts, are you guys a fan of wrestling at all, um, to me, it, I, I don't know, I'm, I guess we'll see what happens when the time comes, um, I mean, I'm, I'm excited still, but at the same time, I'm, I'm on the fence on if I should really even watch it or not, I know that they're going to uh, be showing it for free, which is good. So uh, if you don't really want to pay for it, now is the time that you get to see a WrestleMania for free. You don't have to really do anything special. You don't have to, you know, go out and spend money to watch this this show. Um, I, I think that's that's pretty cool. Uh, Pornhub, Pornhub is doing Pornhub Premium. Um, my thoughts on that. I don't really care. Um, you know, I, I try to stay away from that stuff as much as possible. So it, it, it doesn't have any effect on me. Um, but what I've heard is that they're doing it because they're wanting to encourage people to stay home during this pandemic, which is stupid. I mean, I, I get what they're trying to do. I, I get they're they're trying to be funny about it, but like at the same time, like it, it, it's stupid. Um, I don't know. I, I'm in several group chats, and that's all they're they're talking about. And it's it's like why? Like, well, what is the point? What what is the point? I I, I don't understand. Um, I just think it's really funny. I thought I should like let you guys know, bring it up to you guys, just in case you guys are a fan of that. You know, um, for me, uh, it's not a big deal. Um, I can care less about it. Um, but by all means, if do, do what you do on your own for any time. I, you know, I don't, I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to say, no, don't go to that. Uh, you do, you do you, you do you. And, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be sitting here and, uh, you can do, do that and we can, uh, start this podcast once you finish. I don't, I don't know. All right. So before we get out of here, guys, I just want to let you guys know that you guys can get involved in this podcast and the making of it. Um, just go into my socials and send me topics, send me conversations, you know, anything that you guys find interesting that you guys would think that um, I would be interested in, or maybe you just want to hear me say something funny, or, you know, if, if you guys have any information on, on these Xbox and PS5 games, or any new foods that are like crazy ridiculous, like I know Taco Bell just came out with like this triple lupa kind of thing, it's like three chupalupas and like one it really weird i personally want to try it um you know i i'm a big fan of chalupas uh so i think that would be you know pretty cool um but if there's any movies that interest you for me i'm not so much of a movie guy 
Um, you know, I, I much prefer watching movies at home rather than going out to the movie theaters um, and, you know, paying to, to watch a movie. Uh, I'd rather just wait until it comes out on DVD or Blu-ray or something than just watch it at home. Um, but there are some movies that I find interesting and I'm, I'm willing to go to a movie theater and uh, put my money on it. Um, if you guys... You know, let me know. Let me know where you guys are at. Let me know where you're listening from. Um, I know this is this is really this is a really awkward conversation right now. I feel like I'm just like talking to myself in a way. I mean, I am talking to myself, but you guys are listening. I, I don't know. It's it's weird. I'm a little uh, creeped out by this. Um, but yeah, guys, um, follow me on all my socials: Instagram, Twitter, all that. Um, Instagram is going to be midnight.lunatic and Twitter is at Michael Ortega 17. That is M I C H A E L O R T E G A 17. Um, you guys can reach me at those. I'm more likely to respond to you on Twitter rather than Instagram. Um, so Twitter would be the primary way of, of reaching me about this podcast and, uh, any topics that you have. Um, it's, it's going to be all right, guys. We'll get better. Um, we'll, we'll have more, more topics to talk about, uh, next show. And, uh, thank you guys for tuning in and listening to this, uh, weird and, uh, not, not well-structured podcast, I guess you can say. Um, I kind of just didn't plan any, any of this. I just kind of just jumped on here and said, Hey, let's make a podcast. So, uh, Hope you guys did enjoy, if you guys listened. Uh, if you guys made it up to here, bravo, bravo, round of applause for you. You guys made it to the very, very end, and I thank you for that. Um, all right, guys. Well, I am out of here. I'm going to go game up and relax. I will see you on the next podcast, which I'll probably be making a weekly thing. So... I don't know if I'm going to keep it on Thursdays or move it to maybe Fridays or maybe even the weekends. We'll see. Uh, let me know what days are good for you. Uh, I want to make sure that my podcasts are convenient for your guys' listening pleasures. Um, so if you guys have a, a time or a day that you guys want me to maybe uh, do these podcasts, um, just let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm out of here, guys. Thank you. Take care.